my name is Linda, I am customer success at Edgeflow and I will show you how you can set up peer review sessions just as you've been used to in PeerGrade. Um, I will explain that to you by setting up a peer review session with a um, submission activity of course, a feedback uh, to peers and a reaction activity. And I will also show you how you can let students resubmit their work and how you can give direct instructor feedback all in the same assignment. I will also go through the assignment settings with you and we will find some students to do the class. After that, um, I will show you a course that's already with some activity so you can see how it looks like when there are students who submit it and give feedback to each other and also how to impersonate the student. So sit tight, we will start with going to the website edgeflow.com and you can either choose here to get started that will create your own account or to log in. I will just log in now because I have my own account. So I click on log in. In that way you'll end up in the class overview page. So you can see that it looks quite different than peer grade. And we welcome you back. Over here you can see the different courses you're teaching. And to create a new class you can click here on create or join. That will give you four options. You can get started with a template. You can create an empty course. You can copy an existing course or you can join a course with a code. The last one is for if you want to join a course of someone else. Get started with a template. That's what we want to do right now. In, if you click on this button, you will end up in the template gallery. And the template gallery is a place where we combine different courses that we pre-made just to give you an overview of what you can do with Edgeflow. We want to keep it quite simple right now, so we go to the general section and click on peer review because that's what we want to set up right now. If you click on that, you get to the course description and it will give you a course outline as well. And that shows that it consists of a peer review flow where students submit, where they give each other feedback and where they reflect on the feedback they received. To use this template, you click on use this template that will add it to your account. So now you are logged in and you have the peer review flow added to your account. The about the peer review flow is a content activity where we wrote down what the peer review flow is used for. You can edit it, this, um, you can also delete it because it's for your own overview and since it's hidden, I will come to, back to that later, your students will not be able to see this. So. Welcome to Edgeflow. Um, it's quite different than what you're used to. Uh, hope in the better. Um, basically, the most important thing to know about Edgeflow is that it consists of different flows and different activities. And you should see your flows as a kind of folder that combines your different activities. That's over here. Then in the top right, you have your account settings. You can adjust your user settings here. You can adjust the time format. So from a 24 hour format that we're used to in Europe, you can change it to a 12 as you're used to in the US. You can have a look at our feedback and roadmap, our help center, and you can reach out to us here through chat as well. Then you have here the notifications. We build in-app notifications. So you get an update if there's any changes in your class. The participants page, the progress page and by cl clicking this you go back to the beginning of your course. On the top left if you click here you go back to your class overview the, of the different classes you're teaching. Now we want to have a look at the flow and edit the assignment settings. So first we will have a look at the submission. There's different things you can do over here. You can write a short description. This is in all activities so I will just go through this this time. You can upload a file and what we want to do here is look at the submission settings. Here you can determine what kind of files students can upload and if they're allowed to maybe do multiple um, submissions or just one. You can hide this activity from students. You can do that with any activity and in that way your activity is only visible to yourself. Uh, you can add requirements that students have to fulfill before they can continue to the next phase. And you can choose certain deadlines of which the assignment will open or when they have to be finished. By enabling this feature, you will change your assignment from a homework session, from a live session into a homework session. 
So if you don't do anything, you will have a live session automatically. If you set deadlines, you will change it into a homework session. But the difference between Edgeflow and PeerGrade is that in Edgeflow, you can combine it. So you don't have to do an assignment that's completely live session or completely homes homework session. You can adjust it as you want. So that offers you a little bit more flexibility as well. Finish editing. Then we go to review work done by your peers. That's the peer feedback activity and edit. You can add the description as well. Uh, feedback activities always connected to a source. And here it is submit your work. You can have a look at the peer review settings. Here you can adjust the number of reviews students can make and by default is set to three. And here you can also allow students to do additional reviews. We got this uh, request a lot of times. So there's a lot of motivated students out there who wanna make additional reviews. You can adjust the amount of reviews. They can do three, but they can also do an unlimited amount if they want. For now, I will just disable this feature. Here you can adjust the anonymous settings. So you can allow students to see who they are peer reviewing, but I will turn it off for now as well. The allocation setting um, is connected to categories in peer grade. And if you wanna go more in depth into this feature, just reach out to us. We will explain everything to you about this. But for now, we will just try to keep it simple. Here you can adjust the feedback rubric just as you've been used to in peer grade. So I won't go into that that much. You can hide the activity from students just as you've seen before. And the requirement is that students first submit and then they can continue to give feedback to others, just like peer grade. And also adjust the deadlines. Reflect on your feedback. quite the same kind of activities. The only thing that you can do here, what you cannot do in peer grade at the moment, is change anything in the reaction phase. So in peer grade you are used to that students give feedback to each other and after that they will give reactions to each other by always using the same kind of questions. In Edgeflow we wanted to offer you with the possibility to change this or delete it if you don't want to use it at all. So you can edit the rubric and you can see here what did you learn from the feedback you received? How do you plan on using that feedback to improve? And how useful is the feedback? If you, for example, don't wanna ask this question to your students, just click edit and click delete. That will simply delete the question from the rubric. And that's how you change your rubric in the reaction question. Finish editing. So I told you I would also show you how students can resubmit and how you can give them direct feedback as an instructor. We can do this by going to add activities and flows. Here you see the different activities that you can add to your class. I will come back to that in a little bit as well. And here you see different flows that we pre-made for you. We did this to make it a bit easier and especially coming from peer grade. Here you can just add the peer review flow like we've done now from the template gallery. You can add a peer and self review flow an instructor review flow and a self review flow. And if you want to start with an empty flow and add your own activities, you can do that here. Now we want to use the instructor review flow and that consists of a submission, instructor review and a feedback reflection. So I will add this to the left. First, I want to change the title of the flow, resubmission. Then we go to Submit your work. Let's change the title of this one as well. I call it resubmission. So what I wanted to show you here is that you can add a requirement and that will make sure that students first reflect on the feedback they received from their peers before they can resubmit. So I add reflect on your feedback here. For the rest, I don't want to change anything. The instructor review, for now we don't really have to change anything here, but if you want, you just go to edit and you can change the settings here as well. This activity is hidden from your students and we explain above why, and that's because your students don't have to take any actions for this. So we hit it by default, but you can open it if you want, whatever you, whatever you prefer. 
So we go reflect on your feedback. We adjust the name here as well. Reflect on your constructor feedback. Save. What I want to show here is that you don't have to choose to delete the whole reflection rubric. What you can do, you can disable it so you don't ask any questions, but they just reflect on the feedback they received from you. And they do this by completing the activity so you see that they completed it and they can either continue to the next assignment or they are finished with the class in itself. Finish editing. So now we set up two different flows and that reflects how you've been using peer grade as well, but it offers you more flexibility. And I will just show you quickly what kind of other activities you can set up in Edgeflow. So we briefly discussed the content activity. Here you can let students um, have a look at different links. You can show them with any type of content that you want to share with them. The submission activity that we used in both flows. We have a video activity as well. Here you can either upload um, a screencast of yourself or your webinar, whatever you prefer. Select a tag. That is the categories feature as you've been used to in peer grade. The peer review as we use here. The instructor review where you can give direct feedback to your students. The feedback reflection activity and the self review. You can combine all these activities into a class, but you can keep it very simple as we did now with just having a peer review and the different activities that we added later. We set up the different assignments now, so now we want to invite participants. This is quite the same as you've been used to in peer grade. You can share the link of the course with your students so they can join. You can invite participants here. You can choose to either invite students or add your colleagues to the class so they can also teach. Now I want to invite students. There's different ways. I will do it manually right now, but you can import a CSV file or you can copy and paste the different email addresses and add them all in once. I want to invite Linda. Send email invitations later. And then I will invite another one. And send this later at students. So now you've invited the students to your class, but they didn't get an email yet. So you can either choose to send email invitation individually, or you can send invites to all the students in your class. Here you can also log in as, so you can impersonate and see the course from your student's perspective. And the progress page is where you'll get up to date of where students are in the process. But now there's of course no activity in the course. So I will go to my class overview because I created a course with some activity in it to show you what Edgeflow looks like when there's submissions and feedback. Where is it? This one, peer review tutorial book review. So this is basically the same course we just set up, but then with participants. So we have Juliet, Oscar and Rodriguez. And in the progress page, you can see that they submitted, they gave feedback to each other, and Oscar also reflected on his feedback, and he went on to resubmit. I just didn't give him any feedback yet. But once I do that, he can continue and reflect on it and mark it as complete. Okay, back to the course for now. I'll get back to the progress page in a little bit. But I first wanted to show you that in each activity, you can also see the submissions and the feedback of the students you received. So you see that you got three uh, feedback, um, peer feedback activities. That there's one student who also reflected on it. And also one student who resubmitted his work. So you can have a look. So here you can see that Oscar, he submitted book review to How to Kill Mockingbird. And there's no instructor review yet. You can go here and add the review. But what I want to do now is go back to the progress page. And here you can click on Juliet, for example. If you click on complete assignment, now in this case, she completed it. 
But for example, if you work with a homework session and you have deadlines, if you want to overwrite the requirements of a student or allow them to submit late, you can go here. So here you can, for example, allow this particular student to review without submitting. So then you enable this feature and you adjust accordingly. And you can also change their individual deadlines here. So that will allow you to, um, if a student was not able to submit in time, to give them the opportunity to submit anyways. And we also show a timestamp and here you can see that Juliet, she submitted her work uh, April 28th at 1.38 p.m. And you can also go to the submission over here. I will go back to the course. I will get back to the progress page a lot as well. Uh, we will add a lot of features to that um, shortly. But I think for now, this is mostly what you should know about how to set up peer review sessions in Eduflow. I hope it gives you a good overview and just feel free to reach out to us with any questions you may have because we're really happy to help you out to get you started. Bye!